What's up everybody? Um, we're back with the mowers, so I'll show you what I got going on today. Okay, this thing's more broken down. I got the carburetor off. This is the one we're gonna mainly work on today. I have the carb right here, the little fuel solenoid, carb clean, uh, some gaskets. I do have another part for the Murray. Um, I did have that carb off, see it's nice and clean. That was all cleaned up. Uh, I think that float's sticking because the oil's full of gas, so we're gonna have to change the oil, but we're not working on this today. I'm just showing you what I got going on. And um, the starter, if you remember, here's one of our gears. Here's the other one that originally came with it. Um, the, let's see, Briggs gear. Yeah, this is a original Briggs and Stratton gear I picked up. Um, it's holding together pretty good, but uh, now I'm having problems with the starter. I did get this started before, after I got the carburetor cleaned a few days ago. This starter is actually totally junk. I'm gonna try to save it uh, up in a uh, video coming up, most likely. The starter is actually cracked right in there. Um, I, you probably can't see, but I think that's what was shearing the gear. It wasn't contacting enough. It does seem a little bit far out right now. I did have this off. I took the starter apart, and the starter had a loose magnet in it. I JB welded on there. I don't know if it's still connected. Uh, we'll find out when we tear it apart in an upcoming video. But that's JB welded together. And I'm thinking the contacts are too dirty. In the, I believe it's called a stator. But I don't think they're making enough contacts. And then this isn't just turning enough. I don't think you're still up. But I don't think that's turning it enough not enough torque so it can't get started kind of stalls out so i'll be coming up but right now i think i can get this running i had to order a carb kit um we'll take a look at what i got i didn't get a original kohler because this is the 18 horse the cv um what is that i forgot what the name's uh, i think it's I forgot what the C stands for, but the V stands for vertical, 492S, um, 18 horse. I can't really find the carburetor rebuild kit, so we'll see if this one actually works. And if this one works, I'm pretty sure it's identical to like the smaller size Kohler engines. So yeah, let's uh, put the carb together and um, try to get started. Oh yeah, I don't know if you saw in the video, I didn't show it, I picked those up too. Underneath this board are my wheels. These are three wheeler wheels. Three wheeler wheels. Um, 22 by 11 by eight. On the Cub Cadet right now, it's uh, 20 by 10 by eight, I believe. Um, I'll throw up a picture. This is the size difference. Pretty good amount. Um, about one more inch of ground clearance. But I'm also considering throwing these on the Murray because those are 18 inch wheels and it'll just give that, just like that whole lot more of a ground clearance. But uh, cause 20 inch wheels are still pretty good compared to like the 18, big disadvantage. But uh, I got these wheels, 35 for a set used. Some guy was getting rid of them. That's a pretty good deal. I don't know if I'll find another deal like that if I do I'll get some for the Murray and we'll both have a set. And I might not have to stud these. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to stud one pair if uh, we don't find another pair of uh, nice tread tires like these. So, I got this all cleaned up. I had in my uh, carb dip that I've had forever. This is for the Murray. Just have a plastic gear. I got a, a steel gear, or a, I think that's steel. There'll be a backup. I did. I do have a starter ordered. We're gonna try not to use it, and we're not gonna include it in the cost of that. But if it comes down to it, we'll use it. It's a Chinese import knockoff. But that'll be shown in the next video, of course. Here's the carb kit. I think basically all I needed was uh, the O-ring. I couldn't find one local. That's a nice slice. 
O-ring as in a fuel bowl and O-ring. Perfect. Perfect. These will work. I've seen some reviews online of the other kits that they were not the right size. They probably just ordered the wrong kit. This is the part we really need. There are two needles in here. This is a universal kit. Um, that's one that we won't use. It has a steel tip to it. I still have my needle for the original needle right there. It does come with one that looks like it. This is the original. I'm going to keep it just in case. We'll use that needle. Don't know what this green piece is. I wonder if that goes in the carburetor like that. Probably not. Probably not. Because I lost this piece. Don't lose that piece. It was a black grommet. I can't find one online. Which kind of stinks. We have a gasket for the solenoid. I tested this. 12 volts here, grounded on the body. This should click in like that. It does. Actually, I'm going to keep that one on there. It's pretty stuck and uh, I think it sealed last time. I don't know what those other pieces are. Some black dot and some stamped aluminum. I don't know, I'm not going to use them. This thing's pretty well cleaned out, I, I would say so myself. So we're just going to assemble it. Take a couple cranks because it has no gas in the carburetor. We will choke it 
still. You know what I forgot to put in? Spark plug. I had to steal it for the other motor. So, yeah, this would help. I'll just uh, pump it till it has gas in it though. It'll spin easy. All right, let's try it now. Nice, I already got it running. Wow, had it taken part a while, but I got it running. I'll leave a link for the kit I got down below. Uh, carb clean, whatever. Oh, uh, I would recommend the Kohler kit. I think it's the same as the smaller horsepower kits, but this is the 18 horse uh, 492S CV 492S. But yeah, I just got to do some cleaning. I'm gonna clean the outside. Then we'll have to start modifying the front. And because I had that flat tire, I think I will put the big tires on this one. So I think next we'll get this running. And then when this is running, we can start modifying. Since we'll have like two solid running mowers. Problem free. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. If not, whatever. Give it a thumbs down. But if you did, give me a thumbs up and uh subscribe. That'd be handy. We don't or we i don't always do lawnmower stuff could be we i have some buddies that are into projects so if you're into this lawnmower stuff or uh, power sports subscribe but i also do like the drag racing um totally killed this season uh total fail didn't get out there but hopefully next season we'll have it running but for now it's going to be winter 
and uh, I'm gonna tell you come back. So I'm sure to come back and uh, have a good one.